we have already completed the introduction of the counters and we know what a counter is what it counts it actually counts the clock pulses now in this presentation we will see what are the different types of counters available to us so first I will categorize these counters into two types or I can say there are two types of counters the first one is the asynchronous counters the a synchronous counters we also call this asynchronous counters as the ripple counter so sometimes you will also see this asynchronous counters written as ripple counters and the second one the second one is the synchronous counters synchronous counters now we will see what are these two types of counters how they are different from each other first we will see the asynchronous counters for this counters the external clock signal is applied to one flip-flop and then the output of the preceding flip-flop is connected to the clock of the next flip-flop let's see what I mean by this let's say I have a counter which consists of two flip-flops so I will make two flip-flops this is my flip-flop A and this is my flip-flop B so I just told you that for this counters the external clock signal is applied to one flip-flop so let's make the external clock signal applied to this A flip-flop and the output of the preceding flip-flop is connected to the clock of the next flip-flop this is the first flip-flop the preceding flip-flop and the output of this flip-flop let's say it is QA is connected to the clock of this last flip-flop or the next flip-flop you can say in this case this is the last flip-flop but you can also have three or four flip-flops so this will be our next flip-flop so this is what we have to do in the asynchronous counters this is my clock it is given to the A flip-flop and then the output of the A flip-flop will act as the clock of the B flip-flop this is all that you have to keep in your mind regarding the asynchronous counters or the ripple counter now we will see what we have to do in case of the synchronous counters all the flip-flops receive the external clock pulse simultaneously so this is the difference between the synchronous and asynchronous counters in this case you can see the clock is not given simultaneously to both of this flip-flop but in case of synchronous counters the clock is given simultaneously this is QA let's say and this is QB and the clock is given simultaneously to both of these flip-flops you can see if this is clock then this clock is given to A as well as this clock is given to B at the same time and this is for synchronous counters so it is a very simple thing to remember the only difference is regarding the clock the clock is not given simultaneously in case of asynchronous whereas the clock is given simultaneously in case of the synchronous now we will do a quick comparison between the synchronous and asynchronous counters so that you may write a proper answer in your exams so let's do it the first column is for the asynchronous or the ripple counter and the second column is for the synchronous counter so let's see what is the first point that you have to keep in your mind it says flip-flops are connected in such a way that the output of first flip-flop drives the clock of the next flip-flop I have already explained this point to you and if we talk about the synchronous counter then there is no connection between the output of the first flip-flop and the clock of the next flip-flop because the clock is given simultaneously to all the flip-flops let's move to the second point it says flip-flops are not clocked simultaneously it is again the same thing that I have explained you in synchronous counter the flip-flops are having the clock simultaneously now we will see the third point circuit is simple for more number of states this is an important point and uh, actually I cannot explain you this thing right now because once you design the asynchronous counter and the synchronous counter you will come to know that definitely the circuit is simple for more number of states in asynchronous counter as you compare the circuit in case of synchronous counter it becomes complicated as the number of state increases and uh, the last point says 
the speed is slow as clock is propagated through number of stages for ripple counter yes definitely you have to wait for the output of the first flip flop then only the next flip flop is operational and because of that the speed is slow in ripple counter and if we talk about the speed in case of the synchronous counter then definitely it is high because all the flip flops are operating simultaneously as the clock is given at the same time so if they ask this question in your exam you have to write all these four points but the classification is yet not over i can classify this synchronous and asynchronous counters again into three types so let me do that if i write counters and in this counters i'm talking about the asynchronous as well as synchronous counters then this can be classified further depending upon the way the counting progresses so the first one is up counters up counters they count from small to large their output goes on high as they receive the clock pulse for example they will count like 0 then 1 then 2 3 and so on and if i talk about the second one that is my down counters down counters then they count from a large to small and in this case their output goes on low as they receive the clock pulse for example they will count like seven six five up to a zero or any number you want similarly we have the last type which is up down counters so you already know the up counters you know the down counters and this one is the combination of the up and down counters so we will see all these types of counters in the coming presentations and once we are done with it we will do the designing of the counters by using the state table and state diagram everything is involved in that and uh, that will end our counters and after this we can start our registers so this is all for this presentation if you have any doubt regarding this what is the asynchronous counter synchronous counter up down down and up you can ask in the comment section